England's upland moorland is known to us all for its heather-clad splendour, a ruggedly beautiful landscape home to a wide variety of wildlife, including the iconic red grouse. However, few people realise that to maintain such a fantastic natural resource for us all to enjoy requires constant monitoring and careful conservation. In 2000, the government set a target to improve the country's very best wildlife and geological sites by 2010. Now, Natural England, the government's advisor on the natural environment, has revealed that not only has that target been met, but exceeded by moorland in the northeast of England. We spoke to John Barrett of Natural England and Martin Gillibrand of the Moorland Association to find out more. Well, why we're here today is actually celebrating a fantastic partnership which we have with a range of land managers and other organisations who share our vision to get a better environment. But particularly, we're here today to share that with one of our main partners, the Moorland Association, who manage, own about 180,000 hectares of triple SIs in the English uplands. And SSI, well, it's a site of special scientific interest. We call them our national treasures. They're of interest for wildlife, biodiversity, earth heritage, species. They're really our natural links with the environment. So in terms of the contribution they've made, it's been fantastic. And we've now got over 96% of the area of the grouse moors actually in favourable condition. Grouse moors are really special places. They provide iconic landscapes. We're all familiar with Heather Moorland in, in August and September and the wonderful vistas we get, we get in the uplands. They're also special places for wildlife. And it's the management of the, of the grouse moor managers that's created that special feeling around grouse moors. Natural England have worked with grouse moor managers for a long time now and very closely and we've developed an empathy with them and we're now looking for the, towards the future as well. So today we're applauding the work that grouse moor managers have done and acknowledging the need to work with them into the future to secure a really good environment for the people of Britain. We've been joining with Natural England in celebrating the achievements of their target which so far as we're concerned means getting our moorlands in favourable condition, delivering the goods that we all value so much. These gamekeepers, the people who are the unsung heroes, they're, they're the people who are delivering on the ground by their work, managing the habitat, maintaining the birds that we all regard as iconic, the curlews, lapwing, Dunlin, Snipe, and of course the iconic red grouse, which is the reason we're in business. This is iconic landscape. This is areas that people love to come and look, the purple moors, uh, the areas people are free to come and walk, enjoy, really get a bit of healthy air into their lungs, clean water, wildlife, you name it, we've got it. it this is the most wonderful bit of country. With 75% of the world's remaining heather moorland here in the UK, it's reassuring to know that this very special landscape is receiving the care and attention it deserves to see it safeguarded for years to come.